प्रियंका वायनाड से चुनाव लड़ेगी मगर मैं भी पीरियोडिकली वायनाड जाऊंगा और जो वायदे हमने वायनाड को किए थे उनको हम पूरा करेंगे रायबरेली का पुराना रिश्ता है काफ़ी खुशी हो रही है कि मैं उनको फिर से रिप्रेजेंट करूंगा मगर आसान निर्णय नहीं था इट्स ऑफिशियल नाउ राहुल गांधी हैज़ डिसाइडेड टू रिटेन द रायबरेली सीट एंड गिव अप वायनाड Rahul won both the seats in the recently held Lok Sabha elections. Remember, one can contest elections from multiple seats in India, but a candidate can represent only one seat at a time in the parliament. Since the Wayanad seat is vacant now, the Congress party was bound to field a new candidate. The new MP from Wayanad will be elected in the by-polls to be held on the seat very soon. The Grand Old Party has decided to field Congress General Secretary and Rahul's sister Priyanka Gandhi Wadra to contest from Wayanad but why did Rahul decide to retain Raibareli in Uttar Pradesh and what does Priyanka Wadra's electoral debut from Wayanad mean we'll try to answer these questions hello my name is Gulam Jilani and you are watching live mint congress party's decision of Rahul Gandhi retaining Raibareli and Priyanka Gandhi contesting from Wayanad are seen as strategic moves aimed at giving the party a firm foothold in the country's north and the south The target behind these moves are future elections. First, let's take a look why is Rai Bareilly important for Rahul Gandhi. Rai Bareilly is one of the two Gandhi family bastions in Uttar Pradesh, represented for long by Rahul Gandhi's mother Sonia Gandhi. With the other bastion, Amethi, won back from the BJP Smriti Irani by Gandhi family loyalist K L Sharma, it gives back the Congress its firm base in Uttar Pradesh. Now, if you look at recent Lok Sabha election results, the Congress has registered some recovery in UP by winning six of the 17 seats it contested. In 2019, the Congress had won only one seat, which is Rai Bareilly in Uttar Pradesh. In 2014, the party won two seats, Rai Bareilly and Amethi. Understandably, after the positive results, the Congress would not want Rahul Gandhi to abandon Rai Bareilly. The seat that the Gandhi family has won in 17 out of 20 Lok Sabha elections held so far. Rahul Gandhi defeated BJP's Dinesh Pratap Singh by a margin of 3 lakh 90 thousand votes. In Wayanad, he defeated CPIM candidate Ani Raja by 3 lakh 64 thousand votes. Also, while the Congress bagged six seats, its India Bloc partner Samajwadi Party has won 37 seats, reducing the BJP to just 33 seats from 62 it won in 2019. The Congress party would obviously want to keep the momentum intact for the India Bloc partners and try and regain some more ground ahead of the Uttar Pradesh assembly polls in 2027. In the 2022 assembly elections in UP, the Congress could win only 2 seats in the 403 member assembly. Even beyond Uttar Pradesh, the Congress party which has almost doubled its numbers in the Lok Sabha from 52 seats in 2019 to 99 seats in 2024 is hoping to grow further. This cannot be possible without increasing its footprint in the Hindi heartland especially in Uttar Pradesh. Now the other question about Priyanka Gandhi's candidature from Wayanad. Priyanka Gandhi has been in politics since 1999 when she campaigned for her mother Sonia Gandhi against BJP candidate Arun Nehru in Amethi but she has never contested elections. So she'll be making debut in electoral politics from Wayanad whenever the election commission announces the dates. Rahul Gandhi often talks about his emotional connection with Wayanad. And why not? It was Wayanad that rescued him in 2019 when he lost from another family bastion Amethi to Smriti Irani. Priyanka's candidature from Wayanad has to do with Congress party's plans in the south of India. As things stand, unlike the north, the Congress already has a presence in governments in three states in the south. The party is in power in Karnataka and Telangana. It also rules Tamil Nadu with its ally DMK. If you look at Kerala assembly polls, usually the results would swing between the Congress and the left-led alliances. The 2021 assembly election broke the mold and the CPIM-led LDF won the second consecutive term in the state. Now, the Congress is hoping that the anti-incumbency will push the state to its side in 2026 assembly polls. And it is for this reason that a Gandhi family member in Wayanad is expected to help Congress party's election fortunes in Kerala. In the Lok Sabha elections held recently, Congress won 14 of the 20 seats in Kerala. Suppose Priyanka wins from Wayanad as is being predicted since it's now considered a safe seat for the Congress party. 
it will be for the first time that three members of the Nehru Gandhi family will be in the parliament. Rahul and Priyanka in the Lok Sabha and Sonia Gandhi, their mother, in the Raj Sabha. So this explains Congress party's decision on Rahul retaining Rai Bareilly and Priyanka contesting from Vyanaat. For more such videos and explainers, keep watching Live Mint.